Now, when it comes to navigating through the endless catalogs of offerings within the source unit category, sometimes it could be a tall order. But on today's Connected, we've got product expert Josh Bowen from Kenwood joining us to break down three of the most popular models in a good, best, better scenario for you to easier to understand. On top of that, a brand new model that is certainly addressing the concerns for installation facility across multiple platforms. This is CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM, all about Kenwood source units. And it starts now. Welcome everybody to another CMA Connected brought to you by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And as we're talking about source units, we've come along to a juggernaut brand, of course, Kenwood and Kenwood Exelon, very revered by so many different installers and shops across the continent. But today we're going to make it real simple. So if you're considering Kenwood, this is a perfect show for you to watch. And if you need to refresh yourself on what is new and what's going on with some of the feature sets, this is going to be a perfect episode for you to really tune into. Now, Josh, we've got a lot to cover on today's show. What are we going to be talking about? Hey, Ben. First of all, great to be back. As always, love spending time with you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about our good, better, best solution. Now, as you made it very clear in your introduction, we have a wide variety of offerings that fill the needs with little bits and differences as they go. But for the sake of consolidarity, we're going to bring it down to our good, which is our DMX 4710S, which is our brand new single den shallow chassis receiver that I'm really excited to talk about our better, which would be the step up from there, to our DMX 709S, and then our best being our 10-inch floating receivers, any of those from the 1057XR to the DNR 1007XR. I'm really excited to get into those. All right, Josh, let's break it down for our listeners tuning in. But first, a message from our partner, SiriusXM, to remind you why it's always an excellent add-on sale. And when we come back, let's talk some Kenwood Source units. Don't go away. Hi, Paul Truman here with SiriusXM. We reached out to some of our partners in the industry and here's what they had to say. I can't say more or enough about just uh, what it means to have our unit working with SiriusXM. It's like we're there now. The SiriusXM service is something consumers want, right? So it's Paul. That allows a consumer to listen to either podcasts, entertainment, sports, all at their fingertips. It's all about engagement and that's what SiriusXM provides. Sirius XM is a huge component uh, in a vehicle nowadays. Consumers expect that technology to be available, both in our OEM system as well as the aftermarket upgrades that they're applying to their vehicle. Alpine and Sirius XM, through our electronics, are able to offer the consumer on the aftermarket side Sirius XM 360L, which is an expanded platform for Sirius XM. And it's really been a beneficial relationship for us with Sirius XM. As a dealer, just remember, we don't compete with anybody else. We are absolutely one of the best profitability accessories you can add to any head unit that is Sirius XM ready. All right, welcome back to the show. And as mentioned, we're talking Kenwood source units with product expert Josh Bowen. Now, before we get into the specific units, Josh, let's kind of identify some of the key feature sets that really make Kenwood units, well, Kenwood units. Uh, what are some of these key features and can you break it down for us? Yeah, Ben. So there are a lot of key features that expand throughout the entirety of the product line. Whether that's advanced audio settings, for example, offering 13 band graphic EQs, even in our entry level of products, but also implementing some of those great tuning features, whether it's time alignment or some of our audio enhancements that are found through our setup menus. A lot of those are going to exist throughout the entire line. However, some of those are going to be taken a step further, which we'll talk about as we progress through our good, better, best solutions. All right, Josh, let's get into it. The first one, as you mentioned, is a brand new product recently announced on CMA Live. We're talking about the DMX4710S. Now, this is more of an entry-level type of product, but it's absolutely packed with features. And I think there's been a special emphasis on the physicality of the unit being able to accommodate many more scenarios from an installation perspective. So, um, Josh, please do us the favor. Talk us through uh, some of these really cool features of this new unit and what that means to installers. You're right, Ben. There are a lot of great features that have been implemented into this product. I'm really excited to talk about some of those implementations because it's signed that we have listened to the feedback of our dealers and then brought that feedback into this product. Uh, for example, you mentioned that single den shallow chassis design. We've heard through a lot of research and talking to a lot of installers that there are a lot of vehicles out there requiring something different than just that traditional shallow chassis double den mount. And that's what this product is bringing a solution to. 
So for your vehicles, like some of the Toyotas, the Volkswagens, and even some Fords, most popularly the Transit, this receiver will offer an installation option in those vehicles that require a single den shallow chassis design with the chassis being on the bottom side of the screen. So hopefully a lot of people see some excitement behind just that one part of this. But beyond that, there's so much more, whether it's the larger esthetician, which is the part of the screen that sticks out to provide a flush mount looking installation once it's in the aftermarket dash kit, but a screen enhancement overall, stepping up to a WSVGA resolution. This gives us a 1024 by 600 pixel ratio. It means the colors are popping and the screen is bright, vivid, and it has that detail that it needs. But even looking at the backside of this receiver, as far as what can we add on to this, we've also now implemented iDataLink Maestro compatibility. So that is gonna be found from our entry level all the way up in all of our receivers. Again, showing that strong relationship that we have here at Kenwood with iDataLink Maestro. We took something as small as the actual harness for the receiver. We received a lot of feedback from our dealers that they did not like the old style harness. And I'm proud to say that we got rid of that and we implemented a 22 pin harness that you'll find for all your connections, whether it's your power, your ground, your speakers, anything else that you may find in a traditional receiver harness. Now, we also piggybacked on some of the other features like Sirius XM compatibility and USB mirroring. But what we did differently in this one is we also added the ability to USB mirror an iPhone. So for both iPhone and Android customers, they'll have the ability to mirror their screen to the screen of your DMX 4710S. And as an added bonus on that USB, we also stepped it up to a 2.1 amp fast charging solution. So that means when you're utilizing CarPlay or screen mirroring, it's not just going to keep your phone from dying, but it will have the ability to actually provide a charge to your device when you're utilizing that device through this USB. There's a lot of improvements that have happened here. This is an entirely different product than its predecessor. So the DMX 4710S, although it starts in our good category, it is far beyond what I consider to be a good solution in this case. Josh, first of all, let me comment on a couple of things you just said. I love the fact that the screen resolution has been improved, especially at this price point. Um, I, you know, and that car, that and not CarPlay, but Apple mirroring, I think, is something that is far overlooked. Not many. Um, source units in the category, especially at this price point, actually have that feature. And I think that's really remarkable, especially for the options that that will allow you to do with your iPhone. Um, and the fact that it charges, yeah, we are all annoyed with having to plug in a USB and not being able to charge. Now, I do want to circle back to some of the installation elements you talked about. You touched on, you know, the optimized overall aesthetics and how it would be flush mounted, the fact that it's a shallow single DIN. But what about mounting? Uh, that's something that installers uh, often ask about. So a couple things. First of all, as an iPhone user, I am really excited to finally have an option to be able to utilize a mirroring source on my iPhone. That's not something that we're used to on the Apple side of life. But to go back to what you talked about with the actual installation of this product, that's a really good point and I'm glad that you brought it up. Because when you first pull this receiver out of the box, it will look like a traditional double den shallow mount receiver. That's because we have some brackets that have been included in this. Now, if it is an application that will require or offer the option for a double den mounting solution, we highly encourage you to leave those brackets in place. This adds that stability to this re receiver screen. So if you're tapping that top part of it, we don't want it to feel weak and hollow behind that. So we have those brackets that are there that can be added in to that installation to provide that stability and they'll mount just like any double den receiver would. Now, in the application that you're installing in one of the vehicles that requires the single den shallow chassis option, that's where these brackets can easily be removed. There's about six screws that you take off. The metal brackets come off of the backside of the receiver screen, and then they open up that flexibility for some of those problematic vehicles. It's a really cool solution, Ben. And there you have it, guys. That is a really detailed breakdown of the exciting new DMX 4710S entry level, but packed with cool features and has the installer in mind. I think this is going to be an absolute slam dunk, especially when it comes to versatility of installation based on the details that Josh just shared. All right. So that there was the good scenario. Let's take it one step further and get into the better scenario. And for this case study, we're going to be talking about the very popular DMX 709S, which is a standard double DIN. Uh, touchscreen, of course, but it comes with a couple cool features that go beyond uh, the good scenario. Yeah, so the DMX 709S would be our step up, right? We've gone from our good, we're moving into our better. 
Now, when we get into this, we're getting into a true Kenwood Exelon product at this point, whereas the 4710S has a lot of really great features. That's part of our Kenwood family. So when we step up to better, we're looking at a 709. We're looking at some great features, like some added expandability. For example, our good solution would just have one single backup camera input. In a DMX 709S, this opens up three camera inputs. So if we have some of those vehicles that require multiple camera inputs to be able to retain your factory cameras, the 709S is going to be your solution. This is also our first receiver to implement our new iDatalink Maestro GUI. If you haven't had a chance to check out this GUI, I would highly encourage you to run to your display board, see if you have a demo RR that you could hook up to it, and dig through it. Aesthetically, there have been a lot of changes that have been made in order to give that customer an overall perception of this product belongs in my dash. So when the heated seats are heated, they turn red. When the cooled seats are cooled, they turn blue. To take it a step further though, if you look at the climate controls, when you access the vents on the dash, you'll actually see blue lines that move out of that. Or if you change it to the footwell, you'll see those lines start to move out of the footwell. We love this new GUI so much, in fact, that whenever you flash this receiver and you have this new dash that you see in the screen, you'll also notice an image of the receiver in the dash itself. So you can think of it as kind of an inception type installation. Uh, but it's a really cool GUI. Highly encourage you to check it out. Beyond that, there's a few other features that do expand if we're looking at our audio quality side of life. This is where our three-way crossover mode feature exists and begins throughout this lineup. Now, moving from this above it, any of those receivers beyond that will have that three-way crossover mode, which opens up our expandability on how we can fine-tune any of our audio file type installations. Having that ability to convert our front, rear, and subwoofer outputs to our high pass, band pass, and low pass outputs. Streamlining that installation, reduce, reducing the amount of parts that are required in order to achieve an overall great sounding install directly from the source in your car. Well, Josh, I think this is a great opportunity to also make another distinction between the regular Kenwood lineup as uh, when you step up to the Exelon line, and that is in terms of the warranty, isn't it? That's a great point, Ben. Anytime we move from a Kenwood product to an Exelon product, one of the added bonuses that come with that is the extended two-year warranty. Any of our Exelon or Exelon reference receivers are backed with that extra year warranty for that extra peace of mind for your customers. So as we've climbed this mountain of Kenwood product, we are now have now arrived at the pinnacle, the peak, which is in the top of the line, big 10-inch floating screen model in the DMX 1057XR, for example. There are other options. But for example, this will be your best case scenario for the customer looking for the ultimate in look, feel, interaction, experience, performance, and connectivity. And all these big words, well, I'm going to let Josh break it down to say why exactly these models have everything a customer could ever dream of. You know, truthfully, Ben, whenever we get into our 10.1-inch models, it's really hard not to spend an enormous amount of time talking about them because there's just so much that they bring to the table. Whether it's some of the cleanest audio outputs that you'll find on the market or some of the most advanced audio settings that you'll find on the market. For example, introducing the ability to change a graphic equalizer over to a parametric equalizer. Implementing some of those other features that we talked about on the 709S, like a three-way crossover mode. And then stacking that with like time alignment. Essentially, that allows you to turn this receiver into an entry-level DSP type product, if you will. Again, consolidating that. But beyond that, it also expands so much further. When we look at the features that are found in our DMX 1057XR and the other 10-inch floating models, it's compared to none other on the market. When we get into wireless mirroring, you have the ability to actually utilize a feature called DEX that's found in Samsung devices, which takes wireless mirroring to a whole new level converting that receiver into essentially a low-grade computer, allowing that customer to be able to maintain full use on their Samsung device, but also have full access to anything that can be found on that phone utilizing DeX. And this is done because of the processing power that exists within our 10.1-inch lineup. Beyond that, there's a wide variety of other changes that can be found. For an example, a very unique and specific GUI that exists in our 10.1, allowing you to customize this to a level that can have a lot of your favorite sources activated on your home screen. For example, an HDMI input or your backup camera can be set to view at all times if you're towing or hauling, and you wanna keep a close eye on what's behind your vehicle. Being able to truly modify and customize this product 
to cater it to a need for each individual customer. Our 10.1 inch lineup of products is setting a new level of what receivers should offer when you're catering to the best of the best. Now, obviously, the overall appeal of the larger screen, the interface, and the audio quality is something to take note of. But let's also talk about, take a real quick second here, Josh, to dive a little bit deeper into the advanced ADAS control and features that these units have to offer. Absolutely, that is something that is worth talking about because ADAS is something that's really important to the customers that have it in their vehicles. Uh, for the customers that don't know about it, ADAS is Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. So features like lane departure or collision avoidance warnings. Now, since these receivers have the fast processing power that they do, they're actually the only ones on the market right now that are compatible with the Maestro RR2 to retain that feature. We can set that as one of those home screen widgets that I just talked about so that customers can retain that and keep it right in front of their face anytime they need that quick avoidance feature. Beyond that too, though, with the RR2 module, you also gain access to accessory controls or Maestro programmable outputs, three of them that come off of the RR2 module. Now, what we did in this product to also make it somewhat unique is we built a new source. It's called accessory control. This allows you direct access to those three programmable outputs on an RR2. So you no longer have to program a button sequence or long press this. You can simply go to that source and select that widget whenever you program that in the RR2 menu. Now, the cool part about this is it streamlines that process, but it can turn on or off anything in the vehicle that's activated with 12 volts. So a lot of our customers are using this to activate winches, interior LED lighting, turn on and off radars, so much more that can happen. Uh, for example, you can get really creative with this. I took my garage door opener apart, programmed that to one of these outputs, and then set that as one of these icons. So when I pull up in my driveway, I tap the source on my receiver screen, and then I hit the button to open my garage door. It streamlines that convenience, and then it integrates everything into the center part of the dash, which is something that we're seeing as a trend in advanced OEM applications as well. Customers are getting used to have big screens and great screens, which is another great point that this offers with that optically bonded screen. It reduces sunlight dropout, it gives you the brightest, most vivid colors, and it's a full HD resolution. All around, our 10.1 line of products is the best of the best of what's out there on the market, and it goes head-to-head -head with a lot of other products that you would see in the same category. And there you have it, guys, a breakdown of a good, better, best scenario of the latest and greatest source unit products from Kenwood. Now, Josh, uh, obviously, this is not the place where we're going to deep dive into all the different amazing products that you have within the category. But I think we've done a really good job identifying some of the key features that really break out that good, better, best scenario. What final message do you have for those tuning in that are either existing Kenwood dealers or perhaps looking at uh, acquiring Kenwood as part of their portfolio? There's a few things that I would add to that. One is we listen, right? When we talk about the advancements and improvements that have happened with our DMX 4710S, for example, that's all changes that we were able to implement based off of the feedback we received and listened to, to know that we needed to make these changes to this product to deliver something that our dealers would be incredibly happy with. Beyond that, it's the reliability of our products. Kenwood is a name that's been known in this industry since the industry began. We've been involved in it. When it came to Maestro coming to the market, we were the first company to work with them. We've been a name that customers know, they trust, and dealers have known and trust. Now, when we're looking at product lineups, Kenwood's got something for everybody. Whether it's your older customer that doesn't care about all the features, they just want something to work with their backup camera, or if it's your techie customer with the audiophile demands, we've got products to fit both of those types and everything in the middle. If you haven't checked out our lineup, I can't encourage you enough to give it a look. That was Ken Woods product expert, Josh Bowen, breaking it down for us today. Good, better, best scenario for the Kenwood and Kenwood Exelon uh, source units. Uh, if you're looking for more information, we're going to go ahead and put the link on the screen here to find out all the details, specifications, and features of all the Kenwood radios, not only the one that was featured on today's show, but I think based on what we learned today, my takeaway is simple. Kenwood is such a revered brand within the industry. Those who have been selling it for a long time and installing it for a long time know about its reliability, the functionality. But I think what we've seen here is the strategic breakout of their product to really satisfy not only all consumers' wants, but also at different price points. You know, their new entry with that new 4710 is an amazing add-on to the catalog. It offers 
unparalleled feature set at a price point that installers in particular would love and shops will love too because let's face it the more vehicles you can put a, a, a unit with these feature set uh, into the better it is and i think that's a great value add to the catalog beyond that when it comes to the exelon what a great um, bonus to have the two-year warranty i think that's very important to know because it gives that confidence for you as a shop but also to the consumer and overall the experience with your interactivity with maestro you know that unique relationship that kenwood has certainly pays dividends when it comes to those advanced feature sets especially with the adas uh, configuration i think it's all there at the end of the day kenwood continues to be a leader and continues to be a favorite amongst all car audio enthusiasts that's it for this cma connected brought to you by sirius xm i'm your host ben Wu. Until next time, we connect.